What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 46 of Touch by an Angel. We go all around the world. We meet ordinary people, have ordinary conversations that have the power to transform people's lives. So let's see what God does. What's up, young fella? Hey, how you doing? I am excellent, young fella. And just for the record, just so everybody know, I just met you 30 seconds ago, correct? Absolutely. There it is. Just step up for a little bit for me. I want these people to see how enlightened, how sharp you are. So again, I go all around the world. He asked a bunch of questions. I said, I can't tell you because it's unscripted. Exactly. So here we are. So here's the thing. If I was to give you a scale of one to 10, with 10 being excellent and one being not so good, where would you say right now you are in life? In life right now, mm -hmm. I'm a 10 because more so than anything, I'm focused on what I want to do in life. And I know what it is that I need to do in life more so than anything. More so of, I know the reason why I'm important. I've been through a lot in life, so I had to figure a lot of things out. And ain't nobody gonna tell you nothing. So more so than anything, um, I know the reasons of why I'm important and what I need to do more so than anything in in the world and why we even put here on this earth because there's a lot of knowledge you need to take in more so than anything to really understand what's going on out here. So I kind of got a sense of where that's at. So as far as feelings and mental, that's 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 a ten. But Sexy. as far as goals and anything else, there's a lot more work I need to do for that. All right, we're going to jump into that. But here's the thing. Here's, this is what I love the most. Mm -hmm. You you understand that greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. So you're not measuring your life on the circumstances. Or what, you measuring on, on mindset. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mind, body, and spirit. You're enlightened. Listen, I used that word in the beginning. But you're truly enlightened, man. So I appreciate that. And we're going to dive back into that. But here's what I feel from you. Mm -hmm. You got a lot. of You've been through a lot. For whom much is given, much is required. We all got to go through stuff to elevate. Absolutely. The only way we can grow is by being challenged. Absolutely. But let's shift gears for a little bit. Like we doing a B90 on the highway, we shifting gears, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. You got a lot of elements to you. You're not just one dimensional. You're a thinker. You're probably charismatic with the people. You got a lot. But what's the secret sauce that you bring to the table? What's your greatest strength, your greatest asset that you bring into the world? My greatest asset I believe I bring into the world is being able to uh, take things and keep moving. Mm. Being able to, uh, I, I guess it's sacrifice, punishment, whatever word you really want to use for it, but more so to taking that and just keep on moving, not dwelling in it too much and kind of still like figuring it out and keep it moving because we all get a little, um, what I say, stagnated. We all humans. You on point. So in other words, I, listen, since you want to be modest, I, I'll be arrogant for you. You got grit. You got boldness. You got perspective. Absolutely. You able to see the forest through the trees. Absolutely. You able to take the garbage that the world sent to you, redistribute it back to the world mm -hmm. and love. That's what you do. Heavy. See, since you ain't want to say, I'll say it for you. Heavy. Right. And that's what I feel seeping out of your pores. Mm -hmm. But now let's shift gear. We backing up. We reverse a little bit. Bing, bing. Shifting gears back again. We jumping back into that other thing where you say you attend mind, body, and spirit, but when you touch on your goals, mm -hmm. that's a whole new thing. Sure. Fill in this blank for me. If I can only remove this thing, it'll put me right where I need to be to accomplish my goals. Or if I can only add this one thing, it'll put me right where I need to be toward accomplishing my goals. What would you remove or what would you add to bring you at a 10 on your goal achievement? Patience. <sighs> I, I take away my, my own. I guess uh, anxiety uh -huh. more so than anything and put patience there. Uh -huh. We get kind of a little uh, antsy. We do, especially when we have results. For sure. You for know, sure. so here's the thing. I'm going to give, give you a quote from Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. We become most prone to quit when we become too attached to the results of our efforts. Absolutely. So because you see the forest through the trees, because you got the vision, you got the perspective, mm -hmm. you want that now. Absolutely. If I told you I just lost seven figures over the years because I had to scrape my face on the ground because I had to learn patience. Mm -hmm. That's heavy. That's heavy. And I'm so bullheaded, I'm so driven, I'm so determined that I couldn't even look to the side or to the left because I saw that result and I wasn't going to stop until I got that result. And God, like, listen, I know better than you. So that thing, that same challenge that we can't grow without being challenged, you've been through a lot, but who much is getting much required? I know and I not only had to go through a lot, he had to scrape my face on the ground. But here's the thing. Now I prize patience. Right. Now I understand. Now I'm able to see and, and, and approach young fellas like you and tap right into their soul. That's heavy. Because here's the thing, I already had the gift, but I thought it was my gift. No. God just gave it to me for me to accept it first, shine that thing off, develop it, 
master it, now give it out to the world. So that's what you're looking forward to, my brother. Absolutely. Like a diamond in the rough. A diamond in the rough. But let me tell you, since you want to use that diamond analogy, here's the thing about life. You see, we all got to go through stuff we got to learn. So here's the thing about life. Life always send you the cubic zirconia first. Mm. <laughs> From the chicks to the bread to the opportunity, it's usually mostly the cubic zirconia first because you got to prove this is the thing about God. God's blessing can't come back to him void. Right. So he can't say, oh, my brother did his time. He earned this. Here, take this blessing. Oh, shucks, I didn't see this. Why? No, you got to be battle tested on the front end. That's what's happening. So let me give you the secret sauce that you've been looking for to add to your secret sauce so your meal can taste that much better. Let me give it to you. It's more than patience. You got some pride jigged in there. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Absolutely. Not in a bad way, because all that stuff you've been through, it's a badge of honor you wear. But what it really is, you got a chip on your shoulder still. You ain't let no, but you ain't let somebody off the hook that wronged you. You got something in there, some unforgiveness in there. Let me tell you about forgiveness. Forgiveness and accept, unforgiveness and acceptance, it occupies the same space in your heart. So it's one or the other. Until you able to forgive, that gives you the green light to accept. So this, the burden is still going to haunt you until you forgive the offender and then you can accept the offense. Am I touching on anything? Absolutely. On a lot of a lot of points. Touch on that a little bit for me, because guess what? You're not the only one. There's people out there that need to know. There's people out there that's a diamond in the rough, just like you. There's people out there that got perspective, can see the forest through the trees, just like you. But they chase their tails because they never understood that this gift needs to be developed, accepted, and polished off, and then used to help other people. See, here's the thing: some water, some plant, but it's God to get the increase. You just gotta water and plant and believe that your time is coming. Cause let me tell you something, what I feel from you is greatness. Not second or third, first. And you know it. True indeed. True but it's no shortcuts to success. Not at all. You got it. You did all the work, you go through the hall, the grimy, this and this. It's that little bit of pride that's in there because you didn't forgive. And I believe, um, Forgiven is more so harder. It's easier said than done. More Much so. easier said than done. Because uh, you may forgive a person in your mind, but you may not forgive them in the body. You get what I'm saying? Oh, no so doubt. I may in my head say, yeah, I forgive you. But the feeling and when I see you and stuff like that, I probably still get that feeling from whatever the situation may occur or whatever may occur in the situation. Because we're human. True indeed. So I do have to allow, sometimes it be my mind, sometimes it be the body, but I do have to overall as a whole, let forgiveness come in all the way and kind of like take over. Key thing you said that I appreciate you for, cause it's big, let forgiveness come in. So in other words, I gotta relinquish control a little bit. Absolutely. In other words, gotta be a little vulnerable a little bit. In other Absolutely. words, that I guard my heart and you gotta guard it with all diligence. But, but here's the thing, when you got a hard heart and you're not letting, you're not letting the thing come in that could possibly hurt you, that remind you that, but you also blocking the healing and the blessings from coming in that's gonna make it better. Sure. So yeah, you blocking the hurt from coming in, you guarding your heart, but you also guarding the healing from coming in. So the true boldness, and you got it in you, you the sharp, you, you, enjoy, you, you got it, you front line. Sure. So here's the thing, the true, the true measure of toughness is not going out sucker punching with a gun, I can do, no. It's saying I'm sorry when it's the hardest thing in the world. It's forgiving when you know how heavy that thing is and you know they did you wrong, ain't no shadow of a doubt, you shouldn't have did that. You know it, that's what's really tough. Still being able to say, you know what? I forgive you because I know you don't know what you did, but that's your story. That's not my story. Absolutely. Your story is however you take that picture and reshape it to fit your life. True indeed. True indeed. <laughs> Let me, what, you, what can you tell the, what can you tell the young boys that's watching here now, that's going through something, that's because I know you got a whole lot going on because this was happening. God has penetrated your soul more than he, you already had, God. He jumped in there again and said, okay, now it's time. So here's the thing. I know you've been working on some stuff. I know you've been feeling discouraged, but that's what God told me to tell you. Keep going. I got you. For sure, for sure. That's what God wants me to tell you. So what you want to tell the young folk out here that's out here struggling mind, body, and spirit that got the ability, got the understanding, but just can't put it all together? What kind of message can you tell them? My message would be more so than anything. Um, do what's made for you and stay in your lane more so than anything. Be who you is. Don't really try to impress others or try to do things to make somebody like you or some things like that. You get what I'm saying? Whoever you is in this world, that's who you is and that's who you meant to be. Take full control of that, just keep on moving. Point blank, period. Hey, you so sharp and thorough, brother. I thank God for meeting you today. Of 
Because you time. you sharpened me from doing this with you mm -hmm. more than I could have ever sharpened you. So let me ask you this question. I'm about to let you go. Do you feel better now after doing this interview with a total stranger than you felt before I just pulled up and said you want to do this interview? Absolutely. I, I just got up. You get what I'm saying? I'm ready to start my little routine or whatever. And you just popped up in my life. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't deny it. I accepted it. You accepted it. You sure did. Period. And I just wanted to go from there. Like, I ain't go ahead and make it skeptical or none of that. I asked one question what it's going to be. He said it is what it is. And I just let it be what it is. Yo, bro. And here's the last thing. So, because you glowing now. Mm -hmm. You're probably, you glow, you straight glowing. So, when they say, yo, dog, why you glowing? What you did? Just tell them you've been, I just been touched by an angel. <laughs> My brother, listen, I love you, brother, for I the fact you too, that you yeah. allowed me to come and communicate with you. Because here's the thing, it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's not about you. It's about using our gifts to elevate people, elevate life. Sure, indeed. Thank you for being a part of it, my I brother. I appreciate you, man. Listen, you all are important, necessary, and sufficient, just like this brother. Listen, all you need is a little alignment, a little a little sharpening. Guess what? We all like pencils. We all get dull every now and then. We need the sharpener. And I'm the pencil sharpener. And in, in fact, I'm the alley-oop throw. I love throwing people alley-oops so they can get funky with the slam dunk. This boy just slam dunk. He didn't win the game. You also can win the game. Holler at me. Shoot me a message. Listen, you be great. More importantly, be blessed.